Isn't it weird that your nose is in the middle of your face, but you don't look at it? I see my nose. You don't see your nose right now? Well, I see it in the mirror. No, I mean, every time you look, like, it's like right there. You just get used to, like, not seeing it. Our brain pieces together the rest of the image. And since I got a damn honker, I can't see shit. Move! Do you want to leave or do you want to Yes, let's go, hurry up. Good morning, San Diego! The plants are thriving, the birds are chirping, the tank is clean. The tank is clean. I'm gonna stay here until you tell me what Avenger you would be. Make sure you can focus and concentrate. What Avenger would you be? I don't know the Avengers. I don't know the Avengers. If you don't know them, yes, I need you to Google them because I need you to learn them right now. <laughs> Food kills more people than poisonous snakes, spiders, and scorpions combined. What are you saying? 15 minutes of laughter equals the benefits of two hours of sleep. School desks have 300 times more bacteria than toilet seats. Ice cream ads use mashed potatoes instead of ice cream. Queen of facts that don't make sense. I just got some very exciting news. You guys will finally be getting a house tour. I'm really excited to show you guys what it's been like living here and kind of how everything is set up. I know you've seen a lot of it already in the vlogs, but I want to give you the entire vibe of the house and show you how everything is coming together and has came together. So, the original litter of cats from Lily is leaving in two days. I don't know how to feel. Look how big they are. I can't believe these are the little runts that came out a few vlogs ago. I'm keeping them. Oh, what? If we're keeping her, we're keeping them all. No, we're not keeping them all. Alright, it's been real. It's been fun. They rescue and rehabilitate animals from all over the world that were once pets or that were once left for dead or abused. We're just walking around seeing them all and kind of getting a little bit depressed by the stories we're hearing. It's just a nice reminder that we need to be better to animals and that we don't really deserve them. That's really sweet of Neutrogena. Yeah, I did not think that would happen. Yeah, shout out to Neutrogena. I did a meet and greet with them in New York a while ago and they sent me the coffee table book that I was reading in the hotel lobby. But yeah, there's just a lot of like awesome New York photographs in here. Very excited to go through the rest of this. If this is what I think it is, I was tracking it, it is what I think it is. And we're in for a treat, boys and girls. In South Africa a while ago, I was with some friends using these same drones from this same company and they were absolutely amazing. I played around with them a little bit, but they recommended these drones to me. So, this is the unboxing and testing and review of the DJI Mavic Air. Hallelujah. These are my color options. I went with black. The entire drone fits in this case. It's beautiful. Thank you DJI for this. I'm very, very excited to create some magic with it. So I've just learned that LA is pretty much a huge no-fly zone. There's just so many airports and stuff around. So sadly, I'm not gonna be able to test and review the drone in this video. I just didn't have time to completely leave LA. I will definitely be bringing the drone to Swaziland in two weeks, and I will definitely have a review and some footage to show you guys soon.
All right guys, so recently I've been looking in on how to reduce my carbon footprint. Let me start by explaining what a carbon footprint is for those of you who do not know. The definition is literally the amount of carbon dioxide and other carbon compounds emitted due to the consumption of fossil fuels by a particular person or group. They use it in business to measure like how much a company is hurting the environment. Personally, I think going forward, every business should have either zero or a positive impact on the environment or they shouldn't even be allowed to, to run as a business. So scientists and people that are a lot smarter than me are saying right now that the problem isn't, you know, how much carbon is currently in the atmosphere right now. We're actually at a good level of carbon in the atmosphere overall. The problem is the carbon in the atmosphere is rising at an unsustainable rate. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to completely wipe out my negative impact on the environment. That process takes a lot more math and time, things I'm not good with, but I've been emailing professors for months now and I finally have someone who's gonna sit down and make this video with me. We're basically gonna figure out how much carbon I emit on a weekly, monthly, or yearly basis and then add up things I can do to completely negate all of that emission. For the meantime though, here's five simple steps to reduce your carbon footprint. Bike or walk instead of drive. Even if it's one day a month, one day a week, would be awesome just try to use your car a little bit less plant something anything use reusable bottles and grocery bags I can't stress this one enough we use so much plastic if you can just focus on having one water bottle and filling that water bottle up or having you know two or three grocery bags and always taking those to the grocery store as opposed to getting new grocery bags stuff like that really can make a difference over time so eat organic food all food that's not organic is grown with harmful pesticides sprays all sorts of chemicals that aren't really good for the environment beauty products even try to find some beauty products that don't harm the environment. Anything powered by gas, turn it off for a day, just let it sit there. A lot of appliances are gas, so like just cutting, you know, one or two of those off every other day could, could really change a lot. But it's not like we see, you know, the damage we're doing to the environment as, as we're doing it. And that I think is the biggest problem. If we realized how much damage we were doing on a daily basis, like actually saw it, I don't think it'd be as much of a problem. We don't really realize how much damage we can do and how much good we can do. So I would just say, be more aware of your surroundings, be more aware of how they work and how they impact each other and just try your best. That's all we can hope for. Someone commented and I noticed that the last two or three vlogs were in 720 or 1080 or just not 4K basically, which is a problem. Just want to let you guys know that problem has been fixed. You can now watch the vlogs in 4K. It was a problem with the way I was exporting, but thank you guys for commenting that because I don't think I would have noticed. Would you tell them to follow your social medias? Okay, uh, make sure to follow my Twitter and Instagram and- Plug it, man, plug it. <sighs> I'm crazy.